Did you know that you don't have to remove Windows to switch to Linux? While many users think they have to replace Windows entirely with Linux, that is not true at all. And that is not even recommended for the new users. You can gradually transition to Linux and there are mainly two strategies for that. The first option is to use a virtual machine. You can use Oracle's VirtualBox to get started. In this method, you run Linux inside Windows and it feels like you are running a Windows application. Both operating systems are running at the same time. The second option is to install Linux alongside Windows. This method is called dual boot. In dual boot, both Windows and Linux are present, but only one of them is running at a time. While starting to boot, your system lets you choose your operating system. Now the question is, which one to choose? If you are a total beginner, I would recommend trying out the first option that is using a virtual machine like VirtualBox. With VirtualBox, you can quickly get started and you will be within the comfort of Windows. However, in this method, the resources are shared between the two operating systems. You have to separately allocate RAM and processor to it. Usually a minimum of 2 to 4 GB of RAM and 2 to 4 cores of your processor are allocated to VirtualBox. This might slow down your system and degrade the user experience as well as performance. So while this method is fine if you are just checking out Linux, this is not usually suitable for the long term usage. That's why once you feel comfortable with it, it is good to have a dual boot. With dual boot, you run only one operating system at a time which utilizes the complete RAM and processor. This means a faster and better user experience.